boil. Before we get that to boil, we're going to throw the rest of the ingredients like some uh, tomato sauce and um, a little bit of this. Should have used that. Some sauce for those too. And then uh, some sazon. And we're going to get that to boil here. We're cleaning up as we go a little bit, you know, to kind of ease things out. So, have a spoon here, I'm kind of mixing it. See here? You see how it's red? If you can see from there a little bit. And then we're going to add the beans, let that boil, and then the rice. We're adding the beans. Let them do this. Now we're going to let that boil. Stir it up a little bit. And we're going to be listening as that boils. And while we're, while we're doing that, um, I'm going to clean up a little bit. So, uh, there's not much of a mess when you're done. Um, go ahead and tell them about um, our next video on um, on um, Kaden. Yes. So, let me let me switch the camera over here to Xavier. He's going to tell you a little bit. So. No, no, no. Put your feet off the counter. This that's that's not what we do here. It's on you. You're probably wondering who is. Sorry, I'm just grabbing something. You're probably wondering who is Kaden. So what's all this viper? My birthday on September 6th, and I guess we're gonna get a little early, as early as tomorrow. So we're getting a pet turtle for my birthday, and, and we're naming it Kaden. It's gonna be a yellow belly turtle named Kaden. But we're telling you this as we want you to stay tuned, as we're gonna do a video as we go into the pet store and um, obtain Kaden. And I'm hearing the pot a stirring. It's a moving. Yes, we get the Kaden. Yes, and he's Xavier's been waiting on Kaden for uh since June or July. Yeah, a long time now. We're letting this boil. Letting it boil, I'm going along. I'm putting the rest of the stuff away. And so we want you to be on this journey with the Brions as we uh, do these things and include you into our. Uh, into the Brion family. And if you haven't, um, um, as you know, many of you that I've gone into private practice as a therapist, and uh, there is hope in life. Hope in life counseling is now up and running. Um, please like my Facebook page. There'll be some tips released. Some marriage seminars I'm preparing to give back to the community and help the level... Go ahead, Xavier's going to talk, so. You subscribe to Family Shepherd, and I'll be on one of his videos. Yes, yeah, so, please subscribe and uh, join us. If you want me to be on one of his videos. What do you do, read the Bible? No, Hope in Life Counseling is a counseling center. I know. Um... On my Facebook page, there's a lot of spiritual things for you to grab onto. And yes, we are spiritual beings. Um, let's not negate that. Um, and so, let's go forward. Let's go forward in His name. And we're used to interrupting each other a lot. And we just we just do that. Um, yeah. <laughs> and so I interrupted him on the uh, 
<laughs> on the uh, yeah. shake, shake, shake. Yeah, on the Grimace shake. I was trying to sing the song. I was like, oh my gosh, shake, shake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then I interrupted him on Bill's funeral at Tori's Lake. If you have not seen that video, go watch it. And uh, we're going to post another video here soon um, about our fourth journey at Chorus Lake, and you don't want to miss this one because we do see and describe something that makes us sad and and also the possibility of life, and so you want to subscribe to that one. I'm going to like that one. Uh-oh, what happened? Go watch it. <laughs> We're not going to tell you. Right, let me see if I can find the... I'm sorry. I'm looking. I, we used to have a black... Um, here it is. Wrong cabinet. Yeah. Wrong cabinet. And so it's it's boiling now. It looks like we're almost done with I, I forgot what this is called. Uh arroz con gandules. No, we're not almost done because uh after we get this going, we have to let it simmer for a good 45 minutes with the rice for the rice to cook. And so um um we're going to prepare to add the rice here once the water's boiling and then we'll let you go. We'll let you go and then show you the end product and uh, show you some of that video as, um, as we're eating. Okay? But uh, don't, don't go yet as we uh, prepare here to scoop out. Now, some, some people like using basami. Bas what? Bas what? Mahatma bas. Basadi rice, however you say it. Comment down below and correct me if you want. But anyway, I use uh, parboiled and rich rice. And so what we want to do is have two cups of that. Some people add bacon and other things and meat to just keeping it simple today. Um, and uh, I don't know if many of you know the, the, the culture of Puerto Rico. Um, predominantly uh, Taino Indians. Taino natives, who were natives of Brazil, came over, and um, then the Spaniards came on, the, the Taino showed them gold, the Spaniards came on over and robbed them of the gold and took it from them and brought over African slaves, and so it's some, what I'm, he, he's tired of my history lesson here, but anyway, this is a mixed culture. Can you this on Family Shepherd, can you talk about this on your own channel? All right, well. We scooped the rice, and thank you for watching, and we'll show you how it looks like towards the end once there's a finished product. Yeah. And so we're waiting for this to boil, and we're going to pour in the rice. And uh, while we're doing that, Xavier, would you like to say any last comments? Um, not really. We'll see you, I guess, when it's done. Yes. Remember, subscribe to the Brion's Cooking Show. Everybody, we're back. We're oh. back. Did you fall on? Were you gonna fall on purpose? <laughs> no. All right. So let me let me uh, flip the the camera over here so you can see as the rice is is done after 45 minutes cooking at number two um, temperature. Not number two. Two temperature. <laughs> Help our kids, Lord. But um, number two temperature. Um, the rice is ready, and so we're gonna. Leave that there. Um. Okay, I'll help your kids. But what we want to do is make. Okay, let's be serious and get your foot off the police. Okay, okay. No, we're cooking. You don't put your feet on okay, the camera. Okay, okay, okay. This is a serious show, and. Have to be funny. I know, but you also, people are, are, don't like to see feet on the counter while they're cooking. So that's why I need you to, no, put them down. You're not going to be able to do this. What are you doing it? I need you to. Help our parents, Lord. <laughs> Help our kids. Listen, I'm going to edit this out, though. Okay, so now we're going to make some plantains. Um, in order to do that, I'm going to need... Need a pot. Um, but before that, let's I'm gonna taste the rice in a little bit and make sure it's ready. Me too. You like rice? Yeah. 
I'm going to blow it a little bit, see? No, we don't do that. Let me fix this video. Get you on there right. Here we go. Um, got it on low for right now. And uh, we're going to use some olive oil. Just a little bit, not too much. Get that going. Where did, you learn, where did you learn all of this? That's a good question. We'll warm this up. Back a little bit. Okay. All right, so cutting the plantains, you know, plantains green, and uh, I'm gonna cut around and I get the uh, the plantain out. See. Um, Subscribe if you've ever seen Alex from Minecraft. You can't really see. All right, so. Um, when we cut, we want to cut at an angle. So, bananas? These are plantains. These are this sort of a banana, but they're plantains. You know what plantains are? No. You'll taste it here and know a little bit. And so what I'm doing is cutting it at an angle where it's looking like this. Cutting at an angle. Cutting at an angle. Whoa. Now when I see bananas, and I try cutting bananas to make it look like a video, it's not actually a banana. No, these are, these are actual plantains. And so, I'm going to put the plantains on here. Kinda. They do look a lot like bananas. Don't get them mixed up, kids. They're plantains, okay? And putting it in the, in the skillet here. cook these and uh, maybe cook some more here in a little bit but you know, let the skillet warm up a little bit it's looking like it's gonna rain all day but it hasn't it's been humid though it's sprinkled today we were going to Walmart to get your decorations and your presents and stuff and when we came out it was sprinkled and so we're gonna all right, so next thing we're going to do is feed Alex. <laughs> no, we're not feeding Alex. We're grabbing a plate and we're going to take, you hear the, the pan sizzling back there? We're going to take some paper towels and put it on the plate. Because <laughs> what we want to do is take some of that grease off the plantains. Once they come out, see? And so they're, they're cooking. Some people have a uh, plantain smasher and they smash it and then put it on, the, on there. I don't have that. And so what we wanna do 